that it's called This At Last and it's from Jill Murphy. Are you ready? Can I see your listening ears? Hmm? Good job. The hour was late. Mr. Mi Mr. Bear, Miss Bear and Baby Bear were tired. <gasps> So they all went to bed. Mrs. Bear fell asleep. Mr. Bear didn't. Mrs. Bear began to snore. Oh no, I can't stand this, said Mr. Bear. So he went to his sleeping baby's bedroom. Baby Bear was not asleep as well. He was laying in bed pretending that he was an airplane. No, no. Mr. Bear said again, Oh no, I can't stand this. So he got up and went to sleep in the living room. went to the living room, the clock in the living room. Oh no, oh no, said Mr. Bear again. I can't stand it. First was Mrs. Bear. What was Mrs. Bear doing? What was the noise that she was doing? <gasps> yes, you're right. And what about Baby Bear? What is he pretending to be? Do you remember? <gasps> He was pretending to be an airplane. And now this, the clock in the living room. Oh no, so Mr. Bear went off to sleep in the kitchen. Oh, sleep in the kitchen? It's a bit funny, isn't it? But, all right. Drip, 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 went the bleak kitchen tap. <sighs> mm. And the refrigerator. Oh no, oh no, again said Mr. Bear. I can't stand this. I need to find a place to sleep. So he got up and went to sleep in the garden. Oh, in the garden? Maybe it's a bit cold in the garden. But let's try it. Well, you would not believe what noises there are in the garden. Yeah, there are a lot of noises in the garden. Twin, twin, twin! an owl. Snap, snap, snap. Went a hedgehog. Oh dear, poor Mr. Bear. Meow, meow. Sang the cats on the wall. Oh no, oh no, I can't stand this again. It's almost morning and I still can't find a place to sleep. First was Mrs. Bear, then Baby Bear, the clock in the living room. And what about the sounds in the kitchen? Do you believe how many sounds there is in the kitchen? There's, there was a leak from the tap, there was a refrigerator sound. It's too much, I need to find a place. Mm. But then what he did, it was cold. He decided to go in the car. It was cold in the car and uncomfortable, but Mr. Bear was so tired, <gasps> so tired that he didn't notice. He was just falling asleep. <sighs> Almost there when all the birds, can you imagine, all the birds started singing and the sun pepper in the window. When the birds shine, shine up in the sky, when the sun, oh no, oh no, please, I need to sleep, but I can't stand the sun in my face. So he got up and went back to the house. Maybe now I can find a place inside the house. I'll try again, said Mr. Bear. 
in the house, baby bear was fast asleep now. <sighs> Mrs. Bear had turned over and wasn't snoring anymore. <gasps> oh, maybe now I can go to sleep in my own bed, thought Mr. Bear. So he got into the bed, closed his eyes and thought, peace <gasps> at last. He said to himself, Ring, 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 went the alarm clock. Mrs. Bear sat up and rubbed her eyes. Mm, good morning, dear, she said to Mr. Bear. Did you sleep well? Not very well, dear, said Mr. Bear. Never mind, I'll bring you a cup of tea. And she said, and off she went to get her lovely Mr. Bear a cup of tea. All right, hope you enjoyed it.